Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you're new here. And if you are new, thank you for watching my video and becoming a part of this family, because she really needs you here. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing the last four chapter of Becoming by Michelle Obama. Really good book, really, really good book. And I'm gonna really try not to be so uh, uh, emotional in here. <laughs> and I get very emotional and express myself really hard. Okay, let me go with what I have on already and then we'll get right into this video. I lined my lip with uh, Wet n Wild Cold Pencil is dark brown. And then I went into here. With that shade right there. And I contoured with Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise palette. I love this palette. I do. Really, really do. And then I also put the mirror broke off, but it's by NARS. This is on my cheek plus and it's Taj Mahal. I did my eyebrows with the Huda Beauty Micro Brow. I like it so far. I really do. So that's it. And I, of course, I use the Huda Beauty Chocolate Mousse and a little bit of Kat Von D for my foundation. Now let's get into the eye look and the book. Let me show you what palette I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Zulu by Juvius. She don't have mirrors. So... And I got this look in my head. I'm going to show you guys. It's a look. Hopefully she can do it. And I'm mainly going to be using these three colors right here. Let's get into the look and the book. A look and a book. I'm going to go right up here lightly. Not a lot, but right up here. I'm going in with this yellow right here up at the top so in chapter 21 Michelle I'm gonna have to use my mirror behind me because this one don't have a mirror and if I pick up the other one I might go in and use something in there but in this chapter 21 Michelle talks about how she felt the White House was like a consignment. And to me, I can imagine. I'm not going to say like being in jail, but like. Where, it, where someone knows your every move. Any place you go, anything you do someone have to know you're doing it and for you to come from where you was doing what you want and out and do going to places you want to go to that took strength for all of them that went into the white house that takes strength to to be able to adjust to that you know what i mean it's strength to to just get to that place where you, <laughs> you pretty much telling the world where you are what you're doing or not the world somebody knows so michelle had to make an adjustment of being the first lady and i'm going up here i don't want it to be too yellow i just want it to peek out when i put the other shade on top of it like and she was saying also they had to make a sacrifice. It was a sacrifice, but they was willing to make that sacrifice to try to bring change to this USA. 
the one thing she was not going to give up on is that her children got to be kids. She wanted her and Brock say they was ready to fight to make sure their kids was able to be children. And you know how um, every first lady have to have something they gonna do while they're in the White House? I don't know what Trump wife did. I really don't know what her focus was on. I don't know, did she have one? I know that Michelle focus was on, and she made it her thing, the health of kids and the um, health of kids and family. She wanted them to focus on that. Because I think earlier on in the book, Michelle also talked about the baby had gained weight, was getting chunky. And she had to focus on, you know, keeping her not to gain that weight. So she made that her focus in the White House. She didn't get into politics. She made the health of the family her focus. So I think I done went up there enough with this little Morphe brush. I like it a lot more okay let me go i'm going with that one i want a fluffy brush but not too much fluff but fluff i think i'm going with this one this brush here so now let's go in with this orange e e e Before I talk about the book, I'm gonna get this in, then I'm going in with a, a fluffier brush to blend it out. The 22, Michelle talks about this bad dream she had. The bad dream of her insecurity and her vulnerability. This is the shade I went in with, this orange right here. Because now, her security, her children's security, Barack's security was in the hands of other people. And they were coming at them so hard with Barack mother-in-law moving into the White House. Trump was out there hollering about he wasn't born in America and he want to see his birth certificate and he want, we should see this. And he was really on them so hard. And the crazy thing about Trump, you feel like you can make people do what you want, people should do what you want, but you don't have to do anything anyone want because Trump refused to show his taxes. Everybody know that man cheated. I think 90% of the billionaires cheats on their tax, period. Imagine being fearful and insecure because your life depend on um, someone else protecting it someone else really protecting it because you would think sometime like are they really gonna protect us or are they gonna act like they're protecting us but i can imagine being scared in the white house like that i would be i would be especially with people not embracing you I only have two more chapters and it's the fun finale of the book. In chapter 23, Michelle realized, not that she realized, she said the demand of the first, I'm going in with this, the demand of the first lady was strenuous. It was a lot. It was a lot you had to do. It's a lot. And I remember her her focus was on um, the family, on children health and children weight, like getting them to move and getting the family involved with their kids getting to move. Because you know, kids will sit to a computer all day and night. 
But she was saying, get out and dance, get out and move, walk, just move, just get so they could stay at a healthy weight. She really was focused on the health of the kids. And she said a lot of the congressmen resist on everything. <laughs> the, the Republican congressmen, they resist on everything President Obama tried to get closer. Tried to do. I meant they... Everything he wanted, everything he tried to do, they were there to say no. I remember this one. Oh my God, every time I would look at TV, it was this one congressman. He saw the over them, like he the head of the GOP or whatever. He the head of the Republican people. All I saw on TV was him. No, no, no. He just was focused on not letting this African-American man have any say in anything. people think that I think the congressman just how they have the president that they, they can't be in now alone no more in eight years I think that should go for the Congress too because some of them people be in there too long they need to be vote they need after their eight year turn they need to be kicked out and give somebody else a chance to run I think I'm going to have to prime my eyes for right in here. It's almost like a cut crease, but not a cut crease. So now we're getting to... The final. Let me get this straight before I actually get into it. I just really wanted to grab the yellow color I'm gonna use. Let me use, let me use this e.l.f. brush and I'm going in with this yellow. So um, in the final chapter, it was mostly focused on his him running for his second term. Barack running for the second term. And everything that they do now, it was going to be the last time, like. Oh, you know how it is. Like, especially if it's, it remind me if you're moving to a new city or if you're um, leaving a job or anything where you looking and you going, this is the last time I'm going to do this. Or this is the last time I'm going to do this. I remember when um, President Obama won the second term and he was walking up to the White House, how he stopped. And then he looked back. He was thinking that this is the last time I'm going to do this. Michelle has said the girls had grown into be adjusted to being a teenager in the White House. That they had adjusted well. So in their last term, the girls was going to be teenagers, no longer babies. Like, we saw them grow up before our eyes. That was just amazing. And then he, um, Michelle was talking about how when um, Trump won, how they just looked as strange to them, like Florida. Who to Florida? <laughs> looked as strange. Because I remember that night, like Hillary was winning. Usually when you go to sleep and somebody's winning, they usually win. 
But that next day, when they said Trump had won, I was in unbelief. I was in unbelief that America had actually picked this bully, womanizer, and put him in the White House. I was just shocked with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I want to go back in with this dark one. Just a little right here. I want this to be darker. A little bit more. Okay. Let's go in with this. I need like a gold shiny. This is my final chapter on becoming Mich by Michelle, a memoir by Michelle Obama. You know, I heard somebody here said, I ain't gonna talk about it because it just burned my nerves. So let me get a brush and blend this together and and say to Michelle and, and most White House first ladies, I know that job ain't easy. Girl, <laughs> I know it's not easy. It's not easy, it's not easy. It's not an easy, it's not a walk in the park job. Now I will say, at least some had it a little easier than others but all of it was a trial. I know Bel Melania, is that her name? I don't know. Trump wife probably was in the bathroom crying the whole time she was there. <laughs> so I don't think it was easy for her either. I'm going under my eyes with this shade here. But I know it wasn't easy for Michelle at all. I didn't even think. I was like, when the, what are they going to let Obama pass anything? Look at here, girl. Look, look at this mess right here. Nine brushes to do this look. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna put on my mascara and set my face and I'll be back with the final look. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm back with the final look. getting ready to go to the outlet mall in Daytona Beach. I like it. So that was my final chapter in Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is a really good book. I want to do Barack book, but I don't know if I'm going to do it right away because I need to from this one so I'm going to get another book but maybe not as thick but I want to do another book I want to keep doing this to keep me reading and to keep my mind occupied and if you're new here and you stayed through the video and you like what you see become a part of this family because we need you here and I will see you in my next upload mm -hmm.